Hello and welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm going to be giving you all the latest transfer news concerning United today as Juventus have warned off any potential interest in Dusan Vlaovic, insisting the striker is not for sale. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Let's continue. Man United have been linked with the 23 year old striker with Ten Hag keen to add more goals to his squad. And the Reds and Chelsea are both thought to be interested in Vlaovic, who has scored 23 goals in 63 appearances for Juventus and is thought to be valued at around 70 million euros. Here's what Juventus director of football had to say, and I quote Rumors are something we cannot control, but the transfer market hasn't opened yet. Dusan is not for sale. We are satisfied with the effort he puts in although everyone in life can do better. And just like Goncalo Ramos of Benfica, Dusan Vlaovic is not our primary target. He's just among the list of strikers we would like if we don't get our priorities. We know that Harry Kane is said to be the priority. So if we don't get Harry Kane, then we can look at Vito Sime. If we don't get Vito Sime, then we can look at Goncalo Ramos or Dusan, or Dusan Vlaovic. So we'll look to see what happens when the transfer windows open. Nottingham Forest are interested in permanently signing Dean Henderson from Manchester United, according to some locals of the Manchester Evening News. It is understood Henderson, who has spent all season on loan at Forest, was informed of the club's intention after they secured their Premier League safety for next season with a 1-0 win against Arsenal last Saturday. Forest are prepared to do a deal for up to £30 million for the 26-year-old Henderson and have indicated the salary they would offer to him if he signs for them. Anderson earns around £110 per week as United and is contracted to us until 2025. Surely cashing out £30 million on the Henderson is a no-brainer. I don't know who gave him £110 per week for a second-choice goalkeeper at United. Of course, we all know that he's not good enough, in my own opinion, to um, be our number one to replace David there. Hell no. It's better to cash in that £30 million because that can do a lot for us in the transfer window. Right now, signing a new goalkeeper is not looking like um, the priority when we have limited funds. So, being able to make 30 million from the enhancing at 26 is a no brainer. 30 million, I will take that in open arms. Just like the way we are offered 25 million for McTominay in January and refuse, I hope we do not refuse this deal because this is surely the way to raise money if we are going to do buy, sell to buy, then selling the enhancing is a no brainer. 30 million. Is for me is very is a very very good deal for us and definitely hopefully the hag is ready to let him go and we accept that deal and yeah we get more money to invest in our upcoming transfer window where it's looking like we don't really have much money to spend manchester united will reportedly have to splash out 130 million euro to bring in victor Simmer to old trafford the napoli striker is on the retired summer transfer shortlist with hurricane reportedly being the prime target in the striker position however the 24 year old would not be a cheap second option to the sports captain with the Daily Mail claiming Osime will cost around 130 million euros. That's a huge price for him. That should be around 120 million pounds or 150 million pounds, I think. And that's way too much for him, I guess. But I'm not down, I'm not the one going to be doing the negotiations. It's up to the club. But like we said, we have a limited budget. Spurs are reportedly going to demand around 100 million for Hurricane. So I guess they are still in the same range. So we'll see how that goes anyway. But for now, I can't talk about Victor Sime and how much he will cost because I know that we, we really don't have much money and everything is tied to the um, trans to the takeover um, situation going on right now. But let's see what happens. And according to the Sun, Man United are trying to wrap up a deal for Napoli defender Kim Min Jae as quickly as possible to avoid losing him to PSG, who are also interested. Ten Hag is looking to add to his defense this summer and the 26-year-old has enjoyed a brilliant season with Napoli, helping his side to a first Serie title in almost 33 years. The South Korean has a release clause which will become active on July the 1st, although the exact value of this has ranged from 40 to 50 million euros. United remain in the front seat for Kim Min Jae's signature, but the defender's representative are also said to have held talks with PSG who could step up their interest if they see a chance. For this deal, we can't do anything until July when the release clause becomes active. So even though the report says we are looking to wrap it up as quick as possible, we can't really do much. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget this is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you all on the next one.